Laura Kakiaka, good morning. Um, so we're going to, we stopped at John chapter 4, we're going to proceed with John chapter 5. So I'll give you a moment to get there, and we're going to go and get started. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, guys, let's get started. John chapter 5, verse 1. After there, after this, there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem by the sheep gate a pool in Aramaic called Bethesda, which has five roofed colonnades, and these lay a multitude of invalids, blind, lame, and paralyzed. One man was there who had been an invalid for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had already been there a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be healed? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up, and while I am going, another steps down before me. Jesus said to him, Get up, take up your bed, and walk. And at once the man was healed, and he took up his bed and walked. Now that day was the Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who had been healed, It is the Sabbath, and it is not lawful for you to take up your bed. But he answered them, The man who healed me, that man said to me, Take up your bed and walk. They asked him, Who is the man who said to you, Take up your bed and walk? Now the man who had been healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had withdrawn as there was a crowd in the place. Afterward, Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, See, you are well. Sin no more, that nothing worse may happen to you. The man went away and told the Jews that it was Jesus who had healed him. And this was why the Jews were persecuting Jesus, because he was doing these things on the Sabbath. But Jesus answered them, My father is working until now, and I am working. This was why the Jews were seeking all the more to kill him, because not only was he breaking the Sabbath, but he was even calling God his own Father, making himself equal with God. So Jesus said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, the Son can do nothing of his own accord, but only what he sees the Father doing. For whatever the Father does, that the Son does likewise. For the Father loves the Son and shows him all that he himself is doing. And greater works than these will he show him, so that you may marvel. For as the Father raises the dead and gives them life, so also the Son gives life to whom he will. For the Father judges no one, but has given all judgment to the Son, that all may honor the Son just as they honor the Father. Whoever does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life. He does not come into judgment, but is passed from light, death to life. Truly, truly, I say to you, an hour is coming and is now here when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and those who hear will live. For as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son also to have life in himself. And he has given him authority to execute judgment, because he is the Son of Man. Do not marvel at this, for an hour is coming when all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and come out, those who have done good to the resurrection of life, and those who have done evil to the resurrection of judgment. I can do nothing on my own. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just, because I seek not my own will, but the will of him who sent me. If I alone bear witness about myself, my testimony is not true. There is another who bears witness about me, and I know that the testimony that he bears about me is true. You sent to John, and he has borne witness to the truth. Not that the testimony that I receive is from man, but I say these things so that you may be saved. He was a burning and shining lamp, and you were willing to rejoice for a while in his light. But the testimony that I have is greater than that of John. For the works that the Father has given me to accomplish, the very works that I am doing, bearing witness about me that the Father has sent me. And the Father who sent me has himself borne witness about me. His voice you have never heard, his form you have never seen, and you do not have his word abiding in you, for you do not believe in the one whom he has sent. You search the scriptures because you think that in them you have eternal life, and it is they that bear witness about me, yet you refuse to come to me that you may have life. I do not receive glory from people. Hold on just a second. That is... Hmm. Very good. But I know that you do not have the love of God within you. I have come in my Father's name, and you do not receive me. If another comes in his own name, you will receive him. How can you believe when you receive glory from one another, and do not seek the glory that comes from the only God? Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. There is one who accuses you, Moses, on whom you have set your hope. For if you believed Moses, you would believe me. For he wrote of me. But if you do not believe his writings... How will you believe my words? Boy, mm, I know that word is from somebody. All right, guys, let's go ahead and close it up in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for your word again, how powerful it is, this truth that you, Lord Jesus, are speaking, not just to the people of the time, but the people through the ages. 
of the order of things god the father god the son and the holy ghost thank you lord thank you again lord thank you for forgiveness of sin we leave him at your feet we pray for miraculous healing for people that are on our prayer list you know who they are uh, in your mighty name jesus we pray the will of the father miraculous healing in the name of jesus we bind up and cast out those evil spirits that have created these maladies diseases and ailments that are literally killing these people on the list lord uh, Lord, uh, we pray for the leadership of our country, our president, his cabinet, the House, and the Senate, and leaders at the federal, state, and local levels. We pray for removal of those who do not repent of the evil they've been doing for multiple decades. And you know who they are, Lord. And those you remove, please replace the people who fear you, know your word, and will adhere to your laws and the, law, the rule of law in the Constitution. Finally, Lord, give us an opportunity to share this message of revolutionary love, of good news, the gospel of Jesus Christ with just one person, Lord. Holy Spirit, give us the words to speak if we have to do that. And we'll honor and give you all the glory and all the praise because you're worthy of it all and so much more. In your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. All right, guys. Thanks so much. Again, um, you'll find us primarily on my YouTube channel. I'm going to post it up to my Facebook page, Instagram, and Twitter as well. And Tumblr. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so with that, be good or be good at it. I love you. Jesus loves you the most. Sing hallelujah, man. He's awesome. And until next time, aloha.